Hi guys, it's uh, coming up to midnight. I'm trying to get this vlog done because it's been a few days. Let me just uh, hang on a minute. Just want to rotate the tripod. That's better. Yeah, it's been a few days. I've had a not a busy week, but not a quiet week either. Catch trokes came over Monday. Liberated me of several wheels and a box of bike bits. Um, because I'm wanting some space. That's one of the reasons I'm actually getting rid of as many bike bits as possible. I don't need them all for one. For two, I really do need the space in that outside closet for something else. Um, Yeah, so my bike trailer is actually full of bike wheels. That's all it's full of. Don't know how many is on there. There must be a good dozen on there. Um, and I must have a good dozen still in that closet up here. But they're the ones I definitely want to keep. So yeah, I'm glad she. Uh, I'm glad I could help her out, and glad uh, she liberated me of some bits. And there's probably going to be more if she wants them, it's up to her. But I've just had someone inquire about some parts, so... Um, then I went to Mum's Tuesday. Not really much to talk about there. <laughs> My stepdad's almost done building the um, garden wall, so I need to take this camera with me. Next time I go... Um, crap, I've got to get Mum to do that, and I bet she still hasn't friggin' done it. <sighs> Next time I go over, I'm going to get her to do that. There's a questionnaire thing we've got to fill in. If we don't, we don't return it in time, they could stop my uh, welfare again. And I'd rather not go through that rigmarole again. So, uh... I do believe I got the uh, a return envelope for that. Anyway, Wednesday and Thursday, I bought, well actually Wednesday, I bought a pot of filler, all purpose filler. Um, because, I'll show you in a minute. I've uh, gone around the whole flat and filled in every last hole, dent, crease, gouge I could find. Because uh, I'm repainting the flat. I'm getting stepdad's help, possibly my little brother's as well. And uh, we're going to repaint the whole flat. I've been here nearly eight years. Eight years on the 29th of this month. And uh, it's not been done since, and don't you even bloody think about it. He jumped on my lap last night and stuck his claws in. All four paws. And that is not nice with the trousers I'm wearing. So, yeah. So if I actually just rotate this one, see some of the white marks on the wall. Here, here, some over here. What I've been doing all around the door frame for the lounge and wherever else. Um, the shelves in here, like this one and the rest of them, are going straight back up exactly where they are. I'm not going to move them. The ones in the bedroom are going to be moved. Uh, and of course... I can't win with this tripod, can I? I've got it so it moves slowly, but now it creeps in all directions. <laughs> I do apologise for that. <laughs> I wonder if I should spray it with a bit of WD-40 if that will uh, cure that. But yeah, all of this Lego town has got to come up when I do this lounge. And all the models have got to come off the shelves. The shelves are coming down. There's still a few things I've got to fill in here some screw holes and some where's 
where there is some cable clips I've got to pull those out of the wall uh, I think that's about it for in here I think a lot of the boxes of Lego and whatnot will just stand in the kitchen oh pardon me I've just eaten I've had a curry home cooked curry I didn't go out and buy one Jesus I can't afford that so I just went and got a cheap tin out of Sainsbury's of curry and uh, cooked up some rice. In here, these shelves are going to be changed. We're going to start in this room, so that's the reason I need the room in that outside cupboard. Because uh, I've got boxes under the bed that I don't go to very often. That might as well stack in that outside closet. Uh, chest of drawers in the lounge. I'm going to give that to mum. This one's going to go in the lounge. And that cabinet I'm going to get rid of. So the cabinet that I've got standing in the lounge will come in here and it'll have my PS1 games on. The PS2 games, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I think what I might do is move the shelves around because they just unscrew with four screws to either side. And just sort of adjust those so I could get, I could probably get all of those lined up along the bottom there probably. Or most of them. Uh, and I'll put this at an angle in the corner. In that corner and then move this along. Uh, so that would be the uh, sort of, the, get the console corner. Uh... What I want to do, I haven't decided yet, but I want to get both of these long brown shelves, this one and that one up there, end to end on this wall to make one long shelf. And then the same with these light coloured wooden ones as well. Hopefully all three so I can make you know, two long continuous shelves on that wall and put all my lamps, all of these lamps on that wall. So the idea will be lamps, console, sleeping area, retro computers. <laughs> That's the plan. I may even put the retro stereo over here as well, in that spot. Um, when we paint in here, I'm also going to paint... Oh, I'll just caught the handle on here. There's a handle right here to move the tripod head. Um, yeah, when this, because we've got to pull all this out of the corner to paint in there, I'll uh, paint this before I put it back. And I know how fast my stepdad can paint, so so long as the walls are clear, it ain't going to take him long to put the paint on the walls. And then we've got the woodwork as well, that's going to be the time consuming part. Uh... I've got to go around and clean some of the woodwork because I've got greasy handprints over it around that switch. It's all oily handprints from when I've worked on bikes, you know. When I've got a bike and I'm working on it in here, you know, I'll just get up and hit the light switch and lean on the wall and... Yeah. I might feel better in myself if I uh, tidy this place up as well. Like I said, it's not been done since I moved in. Uh, I think the computers will go in the kitchen. I don't want to put those in the outside cupboard because I'll need those. I just want to put the boxes of stuff in there. You know, I've got s some bits underneath the Lego table in the lounge that uh, could go in there out of the way. Like my box of squirrel ornaments. I haven't got any of those. I might keep a few out, but I think the rest I'll put in the storage in the cupboard. Uh, same with this bike stand I've got here, uh, which I might even sell to be honest, because I don't use a damn thing, and it's just going to take room up in that cut. Yeah, actually, I might sell that. Let's see if I can get a tenner for it. Uh, 
yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Getting all this done, I can get all the sockets sorted as well. Before I put this back properly, I'll put the extra outlet in down there as well that I've been wanting to put in for a while. And I'm going to get possibly another 8 weight or 6 weight outlet. Um, in fact, the 8 weight outlet I've got under there, I might actually mount on the wall in the far corner above the uh, behind the monitor and perhaps another one beside that uh, but keep the um, keep my cutoff switch that I've got there in place Peter they didn't do a double one of those because I could have uh, put two cutoff switches side by side so I could turn on the one for whatever I've got this side you know like the Vio down here and whatnot, you know, got the Vio there, and there might be a few other computers I might run up this end. The stereo, for example. So I will need shelving up this corner, which I will replace. I've got a couple of <coughs> a couple of recycled planks, actually from the old cabinet that stood in the corner over there, where them new shelves are. Rescued the um, end panels from that. They'll make good shelves. They can go up in here and I might put the stereo speakers up on there. Yep. I think it's going to be good when it's done. And I can see right on that corner bracket in there that the screws are pulling out. And that whole thing is lent that way a little bit. So when I pull that out, I'm going to have to sort that. Don't quite know how, but I am going to have to sort that. I'm just thinking it might be tidier and easier to store PCs under here if I put the socket up there. And again, if anything actually went wrong, I could get to it quite a lot easier. Just, you know, ju a just-in-case kind of thing I'd like to have it up there. Although I'm not sure if all the power cables would reach. I don't know, it's either that or a mount it on the wall underneath, because like I said, I have got that cut-off switch under there. My safety switch. I can just whack, just in case anything does happen. Um, oh, I do have something in the lounge and the kitchen I want to show you. Me. I can find it. I've got this light fitting that I'm going to put in the hallway when the hallway has been painted. This arrived Wednesday as well. My little uh, Barclay card portable radio alarm clock. You know, it's got the carry strap there. It's got a light to light up that, which is actually crap, but it does work. Everything works on this. This antenna is a bit how you do. No, look. <laughs> but it does all work. It came with the paperwork as well. Well, when I say paperwork, the um, owner's manual and the old uh, guarantee. And it's protective leather pouch. Paid, um, what was it, £2.99 pence on eBay. Plus shipping. <laughs> so, uh... I was the only one that bid on it. Put the bid in and won, so Mum said that would be a good little collector's item to keep hold of because that was um, a promotional item from Barclays. You know, like uh, when a lot of banks would uh, give you an incentive to sign up to them, as it were, you know. Sign up and get a free radio, sort of thing. I 
Although in that case it would have been Barclay card, you know, the credit card. So yeah, I've got that and that. Got a few things I've bought in a charity shop. Some uh, now that's what I call music CDs. I love that series, so I'm trying to collect that and in cassette tape. A little uh, ever ready torch there. But uh, we do need to go to the kitchen. get attacked by big ass moth as we come in here. Whee! <laughs> he was flying around in here earlier. I've got those tools as well. Because we want, I've got the flashlight that I just showed you and these screwdrivers and a couple of wrenches there. Not this lot. Not that lot, just this lot here. For £1.80 out of a charity shop. Why do I want more screwdrivers? One, I'm a guy, I like my tools. And two, apart from a couple of um, Phillips screwdrivers in here, they're all the sort of terminal sized screwdrivers. Very handy when you're tinkering around with terminal type things like I do. Anyway, I've also been tinkering with this. We have a cable connector to it, just make so you see I'm not pretending, you know. It's a pretend cable, it's connected to it magically. Now it is connected, it is running up in there. So, uh, doesn't want it to bloody stand. Let's stand it in the pot screw, shall we? There we go. Right. Make sure the wires aren't short together. Here we go. One very bright rotating LED warning beacon. It actually looks a bit yellow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know what the regulations actually are for these, but response vehicle lighting. It's a brand new one he sent me with these. And it's a it's actually quite a good light. It's not that expensive either for something like that. But uh, I can't have three light bars on at the same time. I cannot have... Oh, that one is going to work. It didn't work the first time. Must have a dodgy switch. Despite the... Um, funky rotator this side that I sort of bodged back together because that's the only way I could do it um, and a crack in the back there hence that white flash on the wall it's uh, probably one of my favourites yeah, it is a switch I think there's that one I still need to get the uh, worm gear for which is like looking for a needle in a, the proverbial haystack and of course my big bar Which works merrily with the LED lamp. I can't have the LED lamp on that on and one of those on either. There's just not enough oomph in that power supply, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, that is uh, not bad quality. This is well made. The circuitry was all well laid out when I looked at it. Well laid out, well designed. The soldering looked good. Um, I used, my, like I said, I used my magnifying glass on that in the end, and uh, I could see a um, a pad with solder on that actually had a little plus positive symbol on it. So I stuck the uh, positive wire on that and uh, stuck the uh, neutral on one of the um, neutral connections which was actually in close proximity of it, so... Uh, little friend up in that corner. He's finally decided to sit somewhere. What the hell, you can see his big black eyes, look. Now, where's the other bugger gone? They both flew in that window at the same time. 
I've got a bit more filling up there to do on that plank of wood. Uh, I think that's it. I do believe that is it actually. I nearly turned the fan on, not turned the bloody light off. Why have I turned the bedroom light off when I want to go in there? Why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a dumbass. Yeah. It's just my eyes. Oh yeah, just to make painting in here a bit better, I stuck that light up. No spotlights anymore. That would have been quite awkward to paint, a paint around, so uh, I just stuck this up there with a uh, 9 watt LED I think that's it um, oh, when um, Cat's Trikes came up today I did have to uh, <coughs> fix her poor bike because she came up on a mountain bike that had been conver converted to an e-bike um, which wasn't a bad conversion actually but uh, she had her little trailer stuck on the back and it decided to come off and uh, it actually went straight into her wheel spokes, broke through spokes and completely fucked the back wheel. It was, it was beyond repair basically, it buckled too much. It's alright trying to get a small buckle out of the wheel but that was a little bit taking the mickey. <laughs> so um, I put her in one of those brand new wheels that I got a few last week I think <clears throat> one of them wheels I got for five pounds not one from the pair the other one the odd one that came with it and uh, what else did I do put on a couple of new brake blocks and oiled the chain and that was it but it's actually quite a decent looking bike really. Um, modified one of her batteries because one didn't come with a key. It came with two battery packs and the key wasn't with one. So it wasn't usable so what I did cut the um, key switch off the only problem is with that we got rid of the um, <coughs> the lock that locks it into the holder on the bike which doesn't matter because they're wedged in there pretty bloody well anyway pain in the ass to get them right into the correct spot but uh, I just took that off and I just soldered a heavy duty three way switch on it now one of them where the centre would be off and then you got on, on so you could switch between charge and turn on the bike on. That worked well. I got a home. Got a home. Good enough. Well, home. That's typical Norfolk. That is home. Not home. Home. We put a U in it, not an O. <laughs> and yet us Brits have a go at the Americans for butchering the language. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I think British accents do a bloody good job at butchering it ourselves. <clears throat> Especially how some people write on Facebook. Jeez. They miss half the bloody letters out of words on Facebook. Yep. Not private message. I'm going to shut down the PC in a minute anyway. Bugger off to the bedroom. No doubt he'll curl up on the bed. I'm just trying to think if there's, just to make sure that there's nothing I forgot. That's why I keep restarting this video, because I keep forgetting to add things. Oh yes, don't know if I mentioned it in one of my previous videos, but that Alba stereo I got, the um, speed selector switch wasn't working. It wasn't selecting the 45 speed, it was only the 33 speed. Um, Although I noticed when I sort of wiggled the switch, it would work for a few seconds. 
So I've just got my can of WD-40, squirted a bit of that in the actual switch, you know, and then just rocked it back and forth several times, and now it works. It's working really well as a contact cleaner, actually. Expensive contact cleaner at £5 a can, but... Um, and then my Marantz behind you guys, that um, did the same thing. I was trying to listen to a 45 the other day, other day, other D, other D. Good day, mate. No idea what that was, I'm getting tired. Yeah, anyway, I was listening to a little 45 and the damn, that one did it. Slowed right down, I was like, no, not you and all. I just did the same thing, a bit of a WD-40 on the selector switch and uh, that fixed that problem. <clears throat> It's amazing what you can do with it, you know, just half the time when things stop working like that it's something simple, but yet people just stop using it and gets put into storage and then eventually thrown out. Because they've probably gone and bought another, it really is getting cold in this flat tonight. So I'm pleased with that. I've still got the tape decks on the Marantz to sort. But I'm not too worried about that because I've got the Alba. I've got two portable tape players there as well. Plus another one in the bedroom, so... I'm not really short of tape players. And I've got my eyes on one. Apparently the tape deck doesn't work. But the rest of it does. So I was thinking, as it's only £8... As long as it doesn't sell, you know, before next Thursday, I'll get it. That's another little um, project, and I'll probably sell it on eventually. Or even sell one of these two I've got here, if I like it better. I believe it's a Roberts. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.